Blade Online. This week we're bringing you our top news stories. Top this afternoon is there has been an arrest for a clown threat that was made against East Bladen High School on Wednesday. We understand from the Bladen County Sheriff's Office that a 16-year-old Clarkton resident was arrested and um, according to the Sheriff's Office, the 16-year-old posted social media posts that were alluding to the fact that there would be some type of an, of an attack that would take place at the school. Um, the young man was arrested and charged with making threats against the school. Also, Specialty Product Technologies, formerly known as Danaher, is celebrating 50 years in Elizabethtown. Um, they celebrated with a lunch and games for their employees and families and friends in Elizabethtown. Mayor Sylvia Campbell presented the company president with a couple of resolutions that were marking the occasion. And we just wish them all the best and we hope they'll be here for another 50 years. Also, the Elizabethtown Police Department is searching for a suspect involved in a larceny case. The police are attempting to locate Angeline Peoples. If you know where she's at, please contact your local law enforcement agency. Uh, also, the Bladenboro Police Department is warning folks about a computer scam. According to Bladenboro Police Chief Chris Hunt, the way the scam works is the victim will receive a telephone call at their residence and the person on the other end will pose as either a Microsoft Technologies person or they will pose as another well-known company and instruct the victim that their computer is somehow interfering with their servers and that they can help them to repair the computer. And essentially how this thing works is if the victim consents to letting them work on their computer remotely, a window will pop up on their computer screen that reads Supremo and it will have a series of numbers to which the scammer will tell the victim that those numbers are their computer identification. And then the scammer will take over the person's computer and they will glean information such as financial records, credit cards, passwords, and other personal information off their computers. And once this person has taken over their computer, it's too late to regain that information. Chief Hunt says to be very careful when you're dealing with someone and to never ever give them any kind of access remotely to your computer because you don't always know who it is that you're talking to. And Chief Hunt did say that unfortunately they do know of at least one victim of this scam in Bladen County. So we, we just ask that all our residents just be vigilant and if you're not sure who it is you're talking to, never ever give out your personal information or banking or credit card information to anyone that's not known to you. And you can read about these and other stories on bladenonline.com.